All right, I wanted to go over some um, brief customization um, to point you in the right direction if you want to really um, make custom templates and all that kind of good stuff. So um, by default, um, in your theme, regardless what theme you're using, it should pull in the description, um, the specs, the price, and the gallery. And all those are going to be pulled in automatically. And if you go under customizing, you'll see uh, I kind of explained that they're actually pulled in via short codes and they're inserted automatically. Well, you can control these so you can adjust the order um, and all sorts of stuff like that. So if I copy this function and I paste it into your into the functions.php file of the theme I'm using, in this case it's 2014, we can customize this um, and remove it or adjust the order. So I'm going to edit my functions.php file, and I'd scroll down to the bottom. I just recommend that, but you can put, place it anywhere in your functions.php file. If you paste it in, what it's going on is it's, we're uh, filtering the content, and we're saying uh, add in the price, the specs, and I commented out the description, so it will not display the description. It's like it's missing and display the gallery in four columns and link to the file. So if I refresh that, you'll see the change. So um, the cool thing about that is let's say you want to, let's say all I want to display is just the gallery. You can edit that and say just display the gallery or you can say don't automatically pull in any of these and um, when you're editing your template files you can manually add these in wherever you want and um, customize them as needed. So for instance, let's go ahead and use, uh, this is a good example. Um, I can go to my single.php file and let's go ahead and create a custom version of that for vehicle. And um, in general, you can usually do something like this within your theme. It depends on the flexibility of the theme but I'm just doing this as a quick example to show you. And in the documentation, we have a list of the, um, of the actual names of the files that you would create to create custom versions. So we now have a custom single vehicle custom I, um, template. And for instance, I'm just gonna add in test here and show you where that's gonna display. Uh, the formatting isn't going to be correct. I'm just using this as an example to show you how you can insert things and customize it um, as needed because I'm assuming you'll be using a custom project at this point. So the easiest way would be using um, one of these echo short codes um, and then you can paste in the short code as needed. So let's say we just wanted the description to show up. That's vehicle description. We have a list of all the short codes up here as well. If you wanted to look that up, we can paste that in. And now you can see my sample description. This is what I had um, as text wise when you edit the vehicle down here. Um, we'll display in there. And you can do all sorts of stuff. You can do, um, you can actually manually add them back in just the same as before. So then I refresh, you'll see the specs, the description, and uh, this just allows you to have a lot more control. And for instance, let's say you wanted on the archive page to have certain data, and then on this page to have different data and different orders. Um, really the sky is the limit. Um, I just wanted to kind of point you in the right direction as far as customizing. If you wanted to create custom templates with your data, um, check out the customers section it's going to cover um, you know those pretty well and you can even modify the short codes if you really wanted to get um, you know some custom stuff in there no we can't really offer much support on these but if you you know post a question or support form you know we'll do our best to point you in the right direction or help you out if it's an easy fix but um, yeah, you have a lot of control and uh, have fun customizing the plugin. Um, feel free to send us any examples that you guys have done. It's always nice to see um, some really cool, cool examples.